So you can also use a spoon. You just, you just have to not put the flame out like Miss Laney did. I've used a grill lighter to light my candle and I have started dripping some vinegar in and you can also use a spoon but you have to be careful not to get it on your vinegar on your baking soda so it is easiest for me to use this pipette which is very cheap on Amazon. And of course you can use anything that's easy to drip. So Okay, so I have a lit candle here, and baking soda is what we call a base, and vinegar is what we call an acid. So let's see what happens when we combine an acid and a base. So here's my vinegar, and I'm just going to drip it in, and I can hear a lot of bubbling and fizzing. So what do you think is going to happen to my flame? Did you see that? Is that magic? The flame went out. Hmm. Well, I mixed vinegar and acid and baking soda, a base, in a jar while there was a flame. So the flame needs oxygen and it needs fuel. So it had fuel, it needs heat, and it was hot. So what happens here, boys and girls, is that when you mix vinegar and acid with baking soda, a base, it makes CO2 gas. And CO2 gas smothers the fire because the fire can't get oxygen. So that is our experiment today. If you're going to try this at home, please do it with an adult and be very careful. And if you're spooning it in, you just have to be careful not to spoon it right onto the flame. You could use a narrow squirt bottle. There's all kinds of things that you can use to do this. So have a great week and we'll hope to see you soon and we're working on summer reading challenges right now, and we're hoping to get those up June 1st. Thanks, see you soon.